Hey, what's up guys, it's Unleash here today, but you're back with another video on Sonic Origins. And in today's video, we shall be discussing the newly announced Sonic Origins Plus. So we've known about Sonic Origins Plus for a couple weeks now, I think, because it was actually leaked on some sort of Korean website where they actually just rated games and stuff like that. So yeah, we knew about it since then. And then obviously from speculation and stuff like that from the servers last year, yeah, we knew this was kind of coming already. And yeah, literally one day after update one for Sonic Frontiers went ahead and released, uh, yeah. They went ahead and dropped the trailer for it, so um, we're going to be talking about it in today's video. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's take a look at the news at hand. On to, uh, I suppose, the Sonic Origins website with Sonic Rush. So before we go onto the website to see the information about it, let's just first talk about that trailer. See, so yeah, in the trailer, there wasn't actually that much really announced. I mean, for the first half of the trailer, we're basically just being shown stuff that we've already seen before that's actually in the game right now. But then the second half of the trailer is where things really spice up a bit. Because we get a word of a new playable aim that's going to be in all the games. So, Sonic 1, 2, 3 Knuckles, and CD. And from the looks of things, she seems to have some sort of move with a hammer. It looks kind of like a... Uh Insta shields but it lasts a lot longer and then for a brief second in the trailer till before it snips off we can see that she actually hits the ground with it so I'm guessing she can attack with the hammer which is pretty cool but the best thing about this playable Amy in my opinion is the new sprite work for her none of Amy's sprites in Sonic Origins are actually reused from anywhere they're all brand new which is actually pretty nice looking and one little touch about sprite which is actually very very cool is if you look in the different games that she's actually playable in the quality of her sprite work actually changes so in Sonic 3 you can see it's a bit more darker and more detailed but if you look at her sprite in Sonic 2 for example her sprite work actually changes to reflect the game that she's actually in because of the different art signs and stuff like that. And in my opinion, that is really cool, man. That's the attention to detail we love around here. Now, I do wonder what's going to happen in Sonic CD when playing as Amy because, as we know, in Start of Speed, we're in Palm Tree Panic. Amy first gets captured in Palm Tree Panic and then Sonic saves Amy in Start of Speedway, so obviously Amy's not going to save Amy, is she? So who is Amy going to save, if anyone at all? Is she going to save Sonic? I think that'd be pretty funny, honestly, but um, if not, then uh, yeah, go crazy with it, I suppose. Or not, you could just remove Amy entirely and speed the level like that if you want to go the easy way, but um, yeah, let's hope they do something interesting with it. Right, anyways, the second thing they announced in this Sonic Origins Plus trailer is the addition of 12 Game Gear titles to the game, which is pretty nice. So we have Tales of Sky Patrol, Tales Adventures, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Game Gear, Sonic Triple Trouble, Sonic Spinball Game Gear, Sonic 1 Game Gear, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Mean Machine, obviously Game Gear again, Sonic Blast, Sonic Rift 2, Sonic Labyrinth, ooh, ooh, Sonic Rift and Sonic Chaos. Now unlike the games already in the collection, Sonic 1, 2, CD and 3 Knuckles, Unfortunately, these Game Gear titles won't be remade or remastered or anything like that. They're all going to be emulated with the same 4x3. Actually, it's not even 4x3, is it? It's 1x1 ratio. So yeah, that is a little disappointing, but uh... I guess it makes sense, it's the only way they could actually have all these games because they're emulated and not actually remade. But this does mean that they could have some of the issues that the original games already had, which is, uh, yeah, not really all that great. And then apart from those two things, there's literally nothing else new in Sonic Origins Plus. Now, notice how I said new things there, because Sonic Origins Plus will actually contain all the DLC from Origins regularly, all bundled into one package, which in my opinion, that is a stupid man. Now by that I don't mean the idea itself of including all the DLC in there, that's not a stupid idea, but the fact that they're gonna include the DLC here all in the same package, but in terms of regular Origins, we still have to pay for it there. And that is just ridiculous man, because this is one huge problem I have with Origins Plus. All these things should have been in the game to start with. And you'll see what I mean when we go later on with more information in this video, but um, yeah. At the end of the trailer right here, we can see, yeah, we have a physical edition of the game right now, so basically, Exactly the same as Sonic Mania Plus, where the game started off with only digital version of the game, but when the Plus version of the game came out, we actually got the physical version of the game, so yeah, that's nice, I suppose. And then also like Sonic Mania Plus, the physical version of the game will have a reversible cover with some new artwork on it, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice, to be honest. I mean, we see Sonic holding a Genesis, which is actually pretty cool, Amy holding a CD, because obviously Sonic CD on the Sega CD makes sense, then Tails holding a Game Gear, obviously because of his games in the Game Gear, obviously, Tails Adventure, Tails Sky Patrol, all those and then Knuckles holding a cache of Sonic 3 and Knuckles and then you even get a 20 page art book with the physical version of the game too obviously pretty nice right then moving on to the website for Sonic Origins we can see right here some small information about Origins Plus now new playable characters Amy is now playable in Sonic 1, 2, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and Sonic CD. And Knuckles is also playable in Sonic CD. Yeah, you see what I mean now by things that should have been in the game originally? 
Yeah, this should have been in the game already. Like, what? why is it not there? Why? Now, I don't know if Knuckles is going to be exclusively playable on CD on Origins Plus and not the original, but um, if this is what I said first, only playable in CD in Origins Plus, that is some straight up robbery right there. That is robbery. And then here, all in one bundle, Sonic Origins Plus includes all previously released add-on content, extreme missions, mirror mode, additional letterbox backgrounds, new character animations and menus, additional music from other Sonic titles, and more. Yeah, if it wasn't obvious, this is makes Sonic Origins the base game seem a lot more scummy with this DLC now. Right then, if you go to the Japanese version of the website for Sonic Origins, you can see right here, some bugs and action behaviours have been fixed, and some specifications have been improved based on users' player reports. So yeah, all those bug fixes in Sonic Origins that we've been wanting for ages now are going to come with Sonic Origins Plus. Now, I've heard that it's not going to be part of the DLC, but just part of an update overall, and if that's the case, then thank God for that. Man, imagine if they just locked behind updates and bug fixes specifically to Origins Plus, man. That would have been some real scummy stuff. Then right here is some more information about Knuckles. Knuckles is now playable in Sonic CD. Gameplay with Knuckles is now possible even in Sonic CD. Also, a new route dedicated to Knuckles has been added. Alright, then that's good then. So not only Knuckles is going to be playable in Sonic CD, he's going to have his own route. Now, I don't know if that means based on the story of the game or where he has new routes inside the actual levels, but uh, yeah, sounds cool either way. Then right here we can see some Japanese cover art for Sonic Origins Plus and then some sort of... Is that a vinyl or something? A special record type of rubber course that it says on the side there. And then we have a bunch of screenshots for the game which I'll just play right now. Now a lot of these screenshots are really confusing, more specifically the Game Gear screenshots. Why the hell did the screen not fit the entirety of that black border around it? Like, why does it do that? Like, this is actually just ridiculous right now. They could have just emulated them with widescreen, no, they couldn't do that and they're just gonna leave it like this? Like, this is basically Sonic Adventure DX purple borders all over again. And I don't understand why they're doing this, I mean, surely they just stretch the screen a bit to make it fill the entirety of the space there, I mean, come on. There's all that space that's being wasted, why? I don't understand. It just makes it even more apparent that these games are emulated and not remade like the other main four games. And I'm sure they don't want to make it that obvious, right? I mean, come on, that's not really something to be proud of, to be honest. Right, that's it for pretty much most of the information about Sonic Origins Plus we have so far. But we have one more thing that we need to talk about, and this is honestly the worst news out of it all. So we see right here from Comic Book Gaming now, for Sonic fans that already own Sonic Origins, the expansion will cost just, just $10. However, those that skipped out on the collection will be able to get it in a digital or physical bundle for $39.99, with the latter receiving a handful of extras. Now here's where my issues start to arise now. Why the hell does Origins Plus cost $10? Why? For those people out there like me who bought Digital Deluxe for Origins already at release, we're essentially going to be paying $55 just for Origins Plus overall. That is just ridiculous now. Now some of you might know that I was actually one of the people who actually defended the price for the game originally, $40 for the base game, but $55 is ridiculous now. This is taking the mick now. I mean $55 for a digital version of the game with emulator games in there and why? I mean, the physical version is already $40 just like that. You're paying less for Sonic Origins Plus physical than you paid for Digital Deluxe for Sonic Origins Digital Original. Like, that is just ridiculous, man. If they're charging that less for Sonic Origins Plus physical, then surely Origins Plus for digital should be free, right? I mean, that makes sense to me. I mean, you even get an art book with Sonic Origins Plus physical as well, and where's the digital art book, huh? I don't see that anywhere. And I'm fairly certain that physical versions of the games costs more to actually make than just digital, obviously, which makes a lot of sense. So I just don't understand why Origins Plus for digital costs $10 more just to actually have the DLC. Like, why? I mean, all we're getting is a playable Amy and then 12 emulated Game Gear titles. That's it. That's not worth $10, mate. Like, this is actually just ridiculous, man. I defended Origins originally for $40, but I'm not defending this. This is just bad pricing, man. Like, what is this, man? What is this? I mean, even though I'm sat here complaining about it, I'm probably still gonna buy it anyways, but... Uh... Even still, this is just ridiculous, man. Why? I mean, Mania Plus cost $5 to actually add on to the original game, but this is double the price, man. Like, I'm sorry, am I overreacting here? Like, I don't know, if someone wants to say that I'm overreacting here, then please do tell me, but... In my opinion, this is unacceptable. I mean, Origins Plus overall just seems very underwhelming. 
especially for ten dollars. I mean, sure, playable Amy, that is pretty cool. The bustle work in the sprites there, I can't fault that. But emulated Game Gear titles, and they're not even filling the screen either. That is pathetic. Now, the reason why this is all so embarrassing for Sonic Origins in particular is because we just got update one for Sonic Frontiers, all for the price of nothing. And there's still yet more things to come. We got update two and three to go yet, yeah, and update three is a pretty beefy update. And they're not charging a single penny for that. Nothing. But for Origins Plus? No, charge $10 for that, man. Charge $10 for that. I mean, maybe it's because Frontiers is $60, so they don't want to charge more than that because they might think that's a bit too stingy. But I don't know, man. This just seems really underwhelming. And man, this is just horrible, man. I mean, Origins Plus itself doesn't look terrible. I mean, once again, aim looks pretty cool. And then you got 12 more games in there. But the fact that it's all for $10 more dollars on top of a $45 game, ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Anyways, that about does it for today's video. So yeah, Origins Plus got announced recently and uh, in my opinion, it looks very underwhelming, man. Underwhelming as hell. Like maybe if it only costed $5 on top of the original base game, I would have been alright with it, but $10 is too much, man. I mean, if you don't disagree with me right now, then please let me know, but in my opinion, this is, this ain't it, Chief. This is not it. But, what do you guys think of this news? Do you think that this price tag for Sonic Origins Plus is way too high? Let me know down below. Love to see what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially that last one. Don't forget to become unleashed. Press that join button down below. Remember, it's not necessary. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.